Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. Robin, how's it going? Doing great. How about you? I am so glad to be with you today because today's episode topic is extremely interesting to me. Um, it's uh, when I think of this, I think of sauna, but you're going to yeah. have to you're going to have to explain this for me. It is red light therapy. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot to kind of. There's a lot more to it than you would think. Uh, well, what, what is red light therapy? Okay. Well, so this red light therapy was uh, discovered and developed about 50 years ago. So it's been around for a long time. Okay. But it's just starting to kind of get into the mainstream now. Um, it was discovered by a physician back in the 60s because they were actually doing some experience with red experiments with red lasers on rats. And they noticed hair growth and wound healing. And so they realized that that spectrum of light is what was doing it. Interesting. Yeah. So it's a spectrum of light. Yeah. So fast forward in the research and we've got different types of red light therapy now. Um, so it's also known as photobiomodulation. I'm really glad that we didn't, I, I, I didn't have to <laughs> I say have that. that as a title. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's three different types of red light therapy. So there's true red light therapy. Okay. There's near infrared light therapy and there's infrared light therapy. Okay, and it's all, is it actually red? Is that a dumb question? Um, so the red is red. Okay. The near infrared, you actually can't see. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so um, first red light therapy. So red light therapy is uh, therapy using light emitting diodes that produce a red light that can be absorbed by the cells in the body. This can help to stimulate collagen production, increase um, circulation, decrease inflammation. So just red light therapy alone only goes to a very shallow depth, about two millimeters. So we're looking more surface level when okay. we're doing red light therapy alone. Can I ask, like, I have seen a device that mm -hmm. I believe my, my parents had this at, at their house. It's like, a, it's like a little handheld device. Yeah. And they put it on their face. Yep. And this is, is this aesthetic or is that, because you said it's, it's only going through uh, shortly. Yes. So it, red light alone is used very commonly for aesthetics. Okay. Okay. So it can help all kinds of things with skin. So rosacea, acne, rashes, um, fine lines and wrinkles because of that collagen production. Okay. So it has a lot of anti-aging benefits to it when we're using red light alone. Interesting. And there's all kinds of different devices with these. Um, there's the big red lights that you can have one that's the size of a person that you put up on the wall and you can stand in front of it. Really? There's huge ones. Yeah. They're expensive, <laughs> but there's big panels. Um, they have ones that are kind of smaller that can sit like on a desk and you can sit in front of it. Okay. Or they have handheld ones as well. Okay. I've only seen the handheld ones. That's really yeah. interesting. Yeah. There's all kinds of different sizes. Huh. Um, so there's different brands for the handheld one loom box l-u-m-e loom box yep. is a really well-known one one of the things you want to be careful with is looking at the emf the electromagnetic fields that are coming off of this one of the benefits of loom box is it's a very low emf so we don't want to be sitting in front of something that's emitting these big magnetic fields off of it as well is that like the difference between this and like going to like a tanning salon or something or no, it's not like the UV coming off of oh. it. So EMF, and I need to do a whole one on that. EMF is like the signal that comes off of things. It's so like carrying your cell phone in we your We definitely pocket. need to talk about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so anything that's electric that plugs in can can emit that. Okay. So Loombox is very low on that. Um, again, like I said, this, this is only really going like skin deep with things. So we're working on the surface of the skin or right under the skin. Um, and this one can also help to stimulate hair growth. So they actually make red light uh, caps that you can wear that help with hair growth. Out of curiosity, you said it's just kind of skin deep. Mm -hmm. Is there, is there health implications to that? Should we care about that? Or is that just like, oh, you want to look better? And, or is it like actual health stuff? I mean, reducing inflammation. So, so inflammation yeah. is huge. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And this is not, red light's not just to be focused to the face. It can be done anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then you have near infrared light therapy. So this is a slightly different wavelength. So it's able to penetrate a little bit deeper. Uh, this one's going about five millimeters. Oh. So we're getting more to muscles, joints. We can even get bone benefit with near infrared. How does that happen? It's the way that it can, it can get in. Yeah. That's so incredible. a lot of devices like Loombox will combine red with near infrared. Okay. So you have the option. 
So if you have one of those devices, you turn it on and it looks like some of the diodes are not lighting up, it's because those diodes are doing the near infrared part instead. Okay. And so you can turn that part on and off. But okay. if you're gonna use something, I would probably combine the two because they've got great benefits. Okay. So because the near infrared can get deeper, this can actually promote healing and reduce inflammation in deeper tissue. Okay. Um, it also helps to improve circulation. It can stimulate the production of nitric oxide which is great for our cells and increases the cellular production of ATP in the mitochondria. So this is the powerhouse of the cells. Um, so because of this, we can really rejuvenate the cells of the body just using this red and near infrared light therapy. So it can actually help with mitochondrial health. Yes. That's incredible. Yes. That's a big deal. Yeah. Um, so it, in doing that, it can actually help with fertility too. Really? Mm hmm Interesting. Yeah. There's, I had no idea that red light could do all this stuff. Yeah, it's really That's cool. fascinating. It's really cool. That's why they have some of the huge panels for it, because we might want to get our whole body exposed to this. So the small little handheld ones are really cool if you have like, you've injured your shoulder or your kids scraped their knee or, you know, somebody's got a, a belly ache can help with that. Uh, I've seen it used for like ear aches and ear infections, like basically anywhere that it hurts, put it on there mm. and it can help with it. Um, it's commonly used to treat uh, sprains and strains, um, joint pain. It can help with arthritis. Mm. It can help with fibromyalgia. Um, it can even help with depression. Interesting. Yeah. Is there any like uh, protocols you like as far as like how long to stay underneath it? So typically you're going to want to start slow with this. So about three times a week for 20 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. So go like work, tape your way up, yeah, okay. taper your way up on it. Um, this is not something that you want to sit in front of for an hour. Right. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta work up uh, to max of usually 20 minutes. Okay. Um, you don't look directly into it. Uh, so if you're going to be treating your face, it's recommended that you do wear the goggles that come with it. So we're not actually looking directly into the diodes, um, but totally fine to stand in front of it. Uh, you want your skin exposed to it. So if you're trying to do a bigger panel with more of the body, you need more of the skin exposed to it okay. because clothing can block it. Okay. Um, and then we have infrared. This is what you're talking about with saunas. This is what is typically used in the saunas versus the red or near infrared. Um, true infrared can reach a couple of inches below the skin surface. Really? So this is the most penetrating wavelength out of them. Huh. Does the heat help with that as well? Yeah. The heat's another piece of it too, but the, it's just the wavelength itself is able to get through the skin. Wow. So super cool. Also why the infrared saunas are so much more expensive than getting a little handheld red light right. um, because the, it, you know, there's a lot of benefits that come to it. Uh, again, improved circulation. This can actually help to boost immune function. Great for relaxation, of course, um, but this can be really good for chronic pain, muscle spasms, joint stiffness, um, even great for detoxing. Um, so one of our other videos, we talk about EBV. I actually have some EBV patients that I will send to do red light therapy, trying to detox the body. That's, is it through the sweat or, or is it through the actual? Also through the wavelength and what wow. it's doing to the cells. That um, is interesting. Yeah. So, <laughs> and again, this is another one. We've got to work our way up on it because of the detox benefit that comes from this. This is not something you want to go sit for an hour every single day starting out. Okay. You can actually make yourself feel kind of sick doing that while the body detoxifies. So you start out slower with this i'm hearing the three days a week 15 20 minutes something like that start so very... slow and see how you do okay yeah that's yeah. cool but this is something that's so easy to incorporate into your daily life getting one of the little handheld red infrared um and just use it for whatever hurts <laughs> well the other thing is like you know these words are out there like i you know if you follow anything with health and wellness yeah you hear these things and you're not quite sure what it is that they do yeah so it's, it's really nice to hear you talk about just all the different benefits from them it's yeah, really cool absolutely super cool explaining red light therapy infrared therapy and near infrared. And near infrared. <laughs> there we go. Guys, y'all name it. We explain it. Thank y'all for being here with us today. Robin, thank you for explaining red light therapy. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Don't go away.